Hello everyone, my name is Rich Keener. I'm the village manager for the Village of Villa Park. And today is a segment where I'll talk about an agenda for the upcoming board meeting. So folks, today's agenda will be for the Monday, October 25th board meeting. So let's start. So number one on the agenda is the call to order. It's the roll call. Number two is the Pledge of Allegiance. Number three is public comments on agenda items. And folks, that's the appropriate time for anyone in the audience to come to the podium and comment on items that are on the formal agenda for that evening. So moving on, we have number four, which is amendments to the agenda. And folks, that's the appropriate time for the village president or board of trustees to revise or amend the formal agenda for that evening. Moving on for Monday night, October 25th, we have number five, which is our presentation section. We have 5A. It's the Community Fund Commission's presentation of the 2021 Halloween Decoration Awards. We have 5B, which is Budget 101 presentation. So moving on the agenda, we have number six, which is our consent agenda. We have 6A, it's the minutes from the board meeting held on October 11th, 2021. We have 6B, which is the bill listings for the weeks of October 11th, 2021 and October 18th, 2021 in the amount of $1,247,690.63. So folks, moving on to number seven, which is our first reading on ordinances to be codified. We have 7A. It's an ordinance of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, amending the village code regarding sections in chapter two of article 29 of the Community Fund Commission. So folks, the background on this particular item is that during the village board meeting held on August 23rd, 2021, the Community Pride Commission's name was changed to the Community Fund Commission and FUND stands for Focus on Unifying Neighbors. So in certain sections of Village Code within Chapter 2 of Article 29, the name also must be revised. This ordinance is to ensure all references to the Community Pride Commission are revised to state the Community Fund Commission. So folks, just as I've mentioned, on a past meeting, the Community Pride Commission's name was changed to uh, the Community Fund Commission. And it appears that several references to the Community Pride and Village Code were not revised uh, as a result of that board meeting. So we're coming back and we're making several more revisions so that all of Village Code, when it refers to the Community Pride Commission, now is the Community Fund Commission. And so moving on to 7B, we have an ordinance of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, amending Chapter 3, Article 3, Section 3-309 of the Villa Park Municipal Code. Folks, the background of this particular item is that the Village Board is considering amending Section 3-309 of Chapter 3, Article 3 of the Villa Park Municipal Code so that its liquor code pertaining to persons eligible for a liquor license, specifically to allow elected officials to become eligible to hold a liquor license. If approved, this ordinance will amend Village Code to reflect the Illinois Liquor Code, which allows certain elected officials under certain conditions to hold a liquor license. So folks, just as I've read, uh, the board is considering uh, revising, modifying our liquor code so that certain individuals which are elected can hold a liquor license. If we can do that now. That's also, it's in the village code now. However, the individual that's holding the liquor license must, on an annual basis, prove that the alcohol is incidental to food. But this change will change our liquor code so it mirrors the state code for the individuals allowed to have a liquor license, which would be the village president and elected other elected officials. 
in, as, uh, in certain requirements in certain situations. So it'll mirror state code in, for those certain individuals. So moving on to number eight, we have our resolution section. We have 8A, which is a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, approving final change order number one to the contract with Builders Paving LLC of Hillside, Illinois, for construction of the Harvard Avenue Improvement Project, which is Jefferson Park to Plymouth, for a net addition in the amount of $7,233.91. So folks, the background of this particular item includes the village has a contract with Builder Paving LLC of Hillside, Illinois, in the amount of $1,048,000 for the construction of the Harvard Avenue Improvement Project, which is Jefferson Park to Plymouth. Proposed final change order number one consists of the final balancing of contract quantities as measured in the field. The net amount of proposed final change order number one is an addition in the amount of $7,233.91 for an adjusted final contract amount of $1,055,000. $1,055,233.91. Staff recommends approval of this change order. So folks, for this particular item, it's a final change order for the Harvard Avenue Improvement Project. And what this means is we've, uh, we've met with the contractor, we've settled all of the uh, quantities, the concrete, the asphalt, the gravel, things of that nature. So this is final change order number one, and it's an addition of $7,233.91. And so there were deductions and there were additions in the overall contract. There were deductions for asphalt and some other things, and the additions were uh, switching to concrete, which lasts much longer. And uh, the result is an addition of $1,733.91. But the project will be closed out and we'll be moving on to another project in the spring. So moving forward, we have 8B, which is a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, establishing the holiday schedule and regular meeting dates of the Village Board of Trustees for the calendar year 2022. Folks, the background on this particular item is that the Village Municipal Code contains references to meetings and holidays. On an annual basis, the Board of Trustees establishes and approves a schedule of the meetings of the Village of Villa Park Board of Trustees as well as the Village's, I'm switching pages here, the Village's annual holiday schedule. Staff recommends that the President of Board of Trustees pass the resolution to establish the holidays and meeting dates of the Village Board of Trustees for the 2022 calendar year. So folks, just as I've read, we do this on an annual basis. We have a calendar which will be attached to the agenda in Granicus, where you can kind of peruse. So the calendar will show all the meeting dates for the Village Board of Trustees for 2022. And also, there'll be a calendar for all the days of the year in 2022 where village offices will be closed and um, and we do this annually we do it in October then it takes effect uh, in January and again in October of uh, 2022 we'll do it again and etc so it's just something we do on an annual basis uh, in advance of the meetings and closures of the buildings for the holidays so moving on for the agenda for October 25th Monday night we have number nine, that's our public comments on non-agenda items. Folks, that's the appropriate time for anyone in the audience to come to the podium and comment on items that are not on the formal agenda that evening. Moving on, we have 10, which is the Village Clerk's Report, followed by 11, the Village Trustee's Report, followed by 12, the Village President's Report, followed by number 13, which is the Village Manager's Report, and then followed by 14, adjournment. And then folks, our next meeting is scheduled for November 8th, 2021. 
So if you have some time, please come in person. We'll be following the COVID uh, guidelines, the CDC guidelines, where you'll need to wear a mask and follow social distancing. But the Village Hall will be open and the meeting will be upstairs in the board chambers. Or you can follow us on our YouTube platform or watch one of our cable channels for AT&T and Comcast. But folks, we have, do, we have a couple of interesting items on the agenda for Monday night, so I hope you can tune in or come in person. So again, my name is Rich Keener. It's my honor to be the village manager for the Village Villa Park. Hope to see you soon and stay safe. Happy, have a happy Halloween.